YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to another video. And today we will be creating a web browser in Visual Studio. Now the final product, once you're done, will look something kind of like, I just dragged it out here, where is it? So it'll look something kind of like this. So I'm opening it and I have a home page design. That'll be in the next episode, how to design a home page. But the first the first video will just be like how to kind of add settings to it. So here's my settings. All it is right now in the settings are like the color and you can choose it like that. And this is going to be the end result. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to walk you guys through all of this. These are the links to my YouTube channels. And yeah, this web browser is in version 1.0. So if you click on this, it'll actually take you to a page where it already has like in Gmail. It takes you to Gmail. But it already has, or yeah, it takes you to Gmail, but it already has the like two field filled out and the subject filled out. So all you have to do is type in the feature idea. And yeah, this type slash paste URL it actually does work. This is the home page. And I made it disappear whenever you click on the type slash paste URL. So dot Google. You don't have to do the www, but it just helps. You can also press the enter key to search. I added that functionality. And yeah, as you guys can see, it actually does work. So like I can search for hi. Yeah, anyways, it does actually work. So I'll be showing you guys how to make that. First, what you're going to want to do is open Visual Studio. And now if you don't have that set up already, um, you guys can go and check out my previous video on how to set that up. Or it might be in the end screen of this video. I think it will be. But so type in Visual Studio. And then it's going to bring you to something that looks like this kind of. And I already did it. Because I actually had a little bit of help from like someone else. But that was just like the very basics of it. And then the rest was kind of self-taught. So click on create a new project. And then type and then do Windows Forms app dot net framework. So it's down here, I think, or you can just kind of search for it. So Windows Forms app, and you scroll down a bit, and it should be like, it's probably not going to show up actually for me, because I'm already, I already have it there. Yeah, so it probably won't show up unless I've missed it. Oh, here it is. So you're going to click on that and you're going to click next. Then you can call this like web browser. I'm going to call it WB because I already have a web browser. But call it web browser, call it whatever you want. All this, keep it like this, make sure it's like that. And obviously this isn't going to be the same thing, but it should be in like C users, your username, source, repos, or something like that. That's what Visual Studio likes it to be in. Click create, and then it's going to take a second. And then once it's done, which this actually, yep, so there we go, it'll close for a second. Once it's done, you'll see something that looks like this. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is click on toolbox, and then type in, what you're gonna wanna type is web browser. So just web, and then here it is, so you drag it out into there, and it should fill up the whole screen. It might not, so what you're going to want to do if it doesn't is I think you right click on it and click like, um, there's something, but you might be able to resize it too and stuff, and I actually don't want it to cover this whole thing, so I'm going to, oh, you click on that, this little arrow, and click unlock in parent container. So now that it's unlocked, I can drag it to where I need it to be, which we don't want it the whole, all the way up, just to about here, and you're gonna wanna drag it like basically all the way to the sides, because there's gonna be nothing on the sides, so like why not just do that, and have it <clears throat> all the way to that side, and all the way to that side, and make sure it's not like all the way down here, you gotta bring it up a bit. Yep, just like that, that should be about good. Next, what you're going to want to do is drag out five buttons. So one, and then two, three, four, 
and you didn't have to do that by the way guys I accidentally clicked something and five so there's five buttons you're gonna wanna put one of them right here and you can shrink it down a bit because you're gonna wanna make room for everything this is button I know it says button five it's not that's button two I mean it is button five but I'm not gonna use it as that there's the third one there's the fourth one I know this is crazy out of order you guys are just gonna have to deal with it for now and actually that is not supposed to be there one of them so this is going to be back and home and everything like that and I'm gonna take a look at my reference real quick okay perfect so actually you guys are gonna need six buttons I'm sorry one of them though make sure it's kinda of small and it's back there and then you'll have one here and one more so I'm gonna actually shrink this a bit yep perfect make sure that these are all evenly spaced out and then toolbox one more button will go right here for the tutorial that I watched didn't have this so it's kinda getting confusing so I'm sorry if I'm like confusing you guys or anything there and once I have that to a good size perfect then you're gonna want a text box so text box and you're gonna want to put it like right here but make sure it's kinda lined up with all this yep just like that and then you're gonna want to drag it out a bunch to like right here and these are gonna need to be lined up as well so there and then this one bam okay so once you have a layout like this this is what you need for a layout so that's good if you have this then next what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to double click on button one or just click on it once actually and you're gonna wanna change the text of this to back and then just click away from it this next one can be forward and this part I got from the video so I'm not like super good at this so that's back that's forward this is refresh oops refresh and this is home so just like this and then this button three is go exclamation mark and then this is actually a settings icon so I'm gonna leave it like that for now because actually it should be pretty easy to find the settings icon so let me try and find that for you guys sorry I don't have all these resources open but I mean gear I think it was in gear yep so if you guys need the link I am going to have it as a link for you guys to grab so that you can have the link and you can kind of copy it and stuff um, which should be pretty useful so here it is and I have the page pulled up right here so what I'm just gonna do is I think I use UTF-8 and you're gonna right click and click on copy just like that and you should be able to copy that the link is going to be in the description close that and right here where it says text you're going to want to paste that in just like that and click away and now you have a little settings icon and don't worry that'll be in the description where it says form one you're gonna to want to kind of click on that and change the text to web browser just like that and now what you're going to want to do is start programming the buttons so the back button double click on it and it'll bring you to something that says this and you're going to want to type web browser one now I'm sorry if I'm not doing this all right because like this is just out of my knowledge I don't have a tutorial pulled up dot go back and I have caps lock on I think yep 
and like that. So that's it. And save it, and that should turn green with Control S. Just save it. Next, forwards. Web browser one dot go forward. Just like that. And you guys are can kind of pick it up from here, but I'm still going to do the rest of this. But I think you guys are starting to get it. So next, that was refresh. So web browser one dot refresh I think yep and of course the two parentheses and then home web browser one dot it's not dot go home it's dot navigate and then your home page so whatever you want your home page to be so for me it's going to be www dot actually I have a home page set up but for now we're going to just make it www.google.com or whatever search engine you like until you actually have the home page set up so just like that and right here we're going to want to not double click on that on the go button double click on that and it's right here I think yep I think this is button three yep so it's going to be web browser one and dot navigate and then parentheses and then text box one dot text and it's important that you have the dot text there but so that's going to when you click go navigate to whatever is in here this settings dialog we're going to leave alone for now because this is just going to be the very basics. So if we click start, it's going to say build started project WB or web browser for you guys. And it's going to open something like this. So you guys will know if it works. So if you click home, it should go to google.com. And right now it's not resizable. That's going to be for the next video. This was just the very basics. Back forward refresh and just refresh the page so as you guys can see it's doing that home and if we type in www.youtube.com and click on go because enter is not working yet that's going to be for another video I know how to do that though don't worry um so I can't make that full screen if I actually went to my gaming channel like this oh so with this, unfortunately, well, it's debugging like this, since it's in debug mode and not the release configuration, I cannot go to that page, but this is a great time to demonstrate the back functionality. So if you click back, it'll go back, and back again goes to google.com. And yeah, that just works. You can type in it still, like how to make French toast, for example. I don't really care how to make French about how to make French toast, but yeah, go ahead. Make this French toast recipe. I dare you guys. No, I'm kidding. But if you actually did, wow. Okay. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I don't know why I just did that random thing at the end. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And the next tutorial will be coming out soon for probably, like, how to make this thing resizable and how to add, like, those enter keys and everything like that. So yeah, guys, anyways, have a great rest of your day. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.